Here's my terrain with some scattered rocks. I made some changes to the formula so they scatter around a little bit more natural, I think. Um, I've been working a little bit on the masks for where the trees are scattered. So if I change some values here, you can see it just pops in a lot of trees. And uh, yeah, maybe I can see if I can add some more or you can change the pattern of it, actually. Now, currently, this tool does not take uh, the fields into consideration, but it's basically the same as with the trees, um, the road and the railroad, actually. So you can see here that the railroad is not covered by trees. The trees will not spawn on the railroad. The same with the road. The road goes through here. The trees do not spawn there. So it's very, very flexible. Now I can add, uh, add more or less trees here, make it more dense. And it's so fast to just get a visual idea that, hey, this is going to be great. Or maybe this is a bit too much. So all of the trees here, the temporary models of the trees, can be exported to Blender to convert it for the, uh, to the correct format Giant's editor requires. And all the position, rotation, and scale data of both the rocks and the trees are contained. So I should be able to just replace it with the actual tree, which you can chop down in game. Um, a little other thing that's uh, kind of fun is you can randomize a little bit um, the direction of the tree. So you can have it not just standing straight up, but leaning a little bit more or less into an angle here just to I think it will look great in uh, in the map so uh, the trees will not look as uniform um, there's also I don't know if you can notice it but the the uh, cones here are actually spinning around its own axis so we get some random rotation as well and that will also carry over to GE once you want to convert it to the actual tree. 